Hi, this is Charlie giving you uh, Monday's market video, and I've got a bit of a rant to go on here. Don't don't adjust your set. I've got this on um, uh, a black screen at the moment, but um, of of late, or should I say, maybe over the last month, <coughs> probably as a result of the the BBC program that went out, and we've we've attracted a lot of newer traders um, to our community, which is great. Um, but what we're finding is that um, a number of those newer traders are um, just rushing in head first into the markets and making some major, major mistakes, even when we tell them not to. And so I'm going to give you a couple of examples here. And I'm going to pick on a couple of individuals who have been in touch with me. Um, I'm obviously not going to mention their names, so they know who they are. But I'm using them, and I want these individuals to just appreciate. It's not a personal attack on them. I'm just using them as a... As a um, um, uh, what's the word? As a, just just to help as a training exercise for everybody else here, because there's some key points um, to go through here, and then we've got some good news on the back of this as well. So um, to start off with, um, I had a guy in touch with me um, last week who I had a I had a chat with last week, and um, he got in touch via the program and, and was was really really keen, keen as mustard to get going, and so he contacted me I don't know a month or so ago via email and LinkedIn or whatever it was. And was so keen to get started, and I said, "Look, just, just don't. No, you're in no rush. You know, if you if you want to join Easy Trader, and he couldn't join f f until whenever it was, New Year, or whatever." I said, "The markets aren't going anywhere. You know, just, just don't go in on your own because you won't know what you're doing, and you know, and you'll lose money." And so, anyway, I ended up having a chat with him, a conversation with him last week, and what happened? He went in, he put ten thousand pounds into a trading account. Um, and then lost a lot in the space of what a week or two weeks or something like that um, because he didn't know what he was doing and um, got he got attracted to gold and oil like every other trader does and it I have to pull my hair out on this and um, and didn't know about his risk management and 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 now he's had to top his account up with another ten thousand fair enough um, but. You know, he just didn't know what he was doing, and it was just a, a needless loss. And then, then of course, he's on the phone to me saying, "Well, um, well, you know, uh, can you can you help me to get back my losses, sort of thing, get them back nice and quickly?" I'm thinking, "No, no, that's your education. You've, you, you've that's a cost to you now. Um, you put that down as part of your education. Of, um, um, you know, you, you can't just immediately turn turn ten make another 10,000 straight away when you're a beginner. It's going to take you time and it's, you're going to need to trade do this properly, only risking a small percentage per trade and all of that. Anyway, so so that's him. So I was pulling my hair out a little bit there, but um, but you know I've had that conversation with him, and you know and, uh, you know set him on his way, and hopefully he's going to be fine. Um, and then I've got another guy I've been emailing with, and uh, he loves trading gold and oil. And um, so I've actually pulled the, some of these emails up actually, but I've taken his name out um, so you can see a little bit of this. Um, where was it? Oh, so edit, uh, here's one of the emails. I actually explain. I had a five thousand account. I noticed oil seemed to oscillate. Da 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 da. Um, and took a five k account into ten point eight thousand in a week. Now I think most of you can understand that if someone makes a hundred percent in a week, they're probably a little bit over geared, aren't they? Um, okay. My big mistake was obviously not trading with a stop loss. Oops. Yeah. Um, um, even on the outer limit, um, I got caught on the Friday on a on a move down. It could have wiped my account. My account ten. 8k but I bailed at three and a half the sad part was that oil rebounded to $79 and if I had had enough margin my loss would have only been 2,000 bringing me down to 8.8 .8. <coughs> excuse me um, but yeah he, he correctly says but it could have gone further so he, he wasn't to know um, but it's that so it's, it's that newer trader mentality this is the problem and he's saying it's a mad high risk strategy so he's sort of understanding that um, the only good news is I managed to salvage uh, a short position um, and I'm up 4,000 from the original 10 da, 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 da. I do I want, look he's even saying I want to join your trading room but I'm not sure I can afford the the price with only a 4k in the account um, if I could trade back up up again to 5 to 6k doing small trades I, now, I would fork out the, uh, the you know, to get the more trading so the way I see it is is that why people seem to be happy losing lots of money and trading by themselves losing lots of money um, 
and uh, you know, and yet we can help you and uh, and help you from not losing lots of money and and yet they'd rather carry on. Oh well, when I've made a little bit more money, you won't make more money. You'll just carry on losing more money. Probably um, the the odds are in, in, stacked in that regard. So then we move on. So I said, hi Keith, that's interesting. I had another new trader. Oh, there we go, a new touch with you this week who lost a lot. Oh yeah, okay. So I said, watch out for next Monday's video. That's today's so, because I thought I need to do a video. And then we've got another email from um, Keith here. Um, uh, I make the most on oil and gold trading compared to forex. Well, yeah, because they move a lot. And but the problem is, is this guy is his, his account swing around like you know like anything, and so which is not what you want. Um, you can make a lot on forex. It's just that you know he's he's only been trading one month and he's just decided to trade oil and gold, and because they've got they're a bit more exciting. Um, anyway, I might try and develop an automated tra program. <laughs> anyway, and then he says I'm up three and a half k this week. So. Okay, so he's now, this was last week, so you we can see that was sent on the 21st. Um, more risk management, um, but I can always do even more. Um, so again, if he's got, he was back down to 4,000 and he's made three and a half, he's nearly made 100% again. What is that telling us? He's way, way, way over geared. And so, and he's predicting whatever on oil, fair enough. You know, <laughs> that's fine. You, could, you know, every trader has to have a, take a view on, on, on a market. But look at, look at his comment here. If you had a, had 10K on that move, it would have been 19,800 profit. That's a typical new trader mindset. They talk about the profits and not the, the risks. And so, um, I think I responded. I was actually out and I said, uh, look, I'm sorry, but the type of your trading will fail you eventually. So even at the end of last week, um, his, his account's now up to 7.5K, or was, and... Um, and Keith, don't take this personally because I'm just using this because there'll be a lot of other people out there doing the same sort of thing as you do, do and I appreciate you emailing in because I can use this for training. Um, and no one knows who you, who you are, obviously. And so, um, but the, the thing is, okay, so he's now, now his account is up to 7,000. Um, he needs to join the community to stop himself, to stop him from losing. But I know what his mindset will be. Oh, well, maybe once I get to 10,000. But he said on his previous email, once I get to five or six K, okay, I'll, I'll invest in, in my education. But my big, big issue is that you've got people out there who, um, who are trading like this and you will just wreck your account. You, you know, it's, you're just too new a trader to be able to, um, to be able to handle it properly. And so you'll just wreck the account. So, um, please, um, I just, warn anyone out there who's doing something like this um, and having wild swings like that please don't um, and please just um, just just trade within your risk parameters um, it's a lot more boring but you you know you overall you'll be in the game longer you will you will lose um, doing what you're doing that way um, and it's that same sort of men mentality where people say well, yeah once I've got money back to X Y and Z then I'll trade properly and um, but they they won't and so unless they actually just cut it now and say okay right this is where I am right now I've got lucky I've bought some got some money back right okay um, before I know it, I'll lose money again, so I should just invest. And it just annoys me that people are willing to lose thousands in the markets, but they can't afford £800 on a product. <laughs> anyway, it's funny. But anyway, on, on the flip side of that, I've got a nice email. I literally just come through this morning. And uh, again, I've taken the email off. It came through to Sam. Um, could you pass it on? Just wanted to a quick message to say, oh, change your life for the better. Right, okay. Um, I've been trading on and off for seven years. And, uh, oh, okay, on and off. And... Uh, Previously thinking of giving up and admitting I'm just one of those people who can't make it. Gave myself a year, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you can all read this. Uh, then I watched the program on the BBC and the senior trader and I thought it looks like he knows what he's doing. So I looked you up. Um, and what did he say here? I'd follow your plan and only ever take trades when my stop loss would be very small and the risk reward would be at least one to one and a half. This meant I missed out on a few trades, but there, there were some days where no trades at all. But I stuck with it and now I'm up 500 pips in four weeks. Um, the past week is a good example um, of my trading plan working. I had five losing trades and three winning trades. Total profit was 150 pips. Um, total losses were 60 pips. I had two small winners and a big winner uh, on um, and a big winner on the euro yen, where I risked 20 and made 140. Um, okay, I think that's enough there. So you get the idea. So. This is the sort of stuff that I want to see. Where traders are um, taking responsible trades. Um, they're not um, taking huge risks. They're looking at they're having a proper plan like that. You know, so you, you, they're, they're, they're 
um, trading with a you know proper risk reward parameters. Let's bring up uh, the S and P or something like that. Um, proper risk reward parameters, proper ri proper risk management, and you know, and then they're in, they're putting themselves in the in the right in the right areas in order to be able to be long term successful. Um, so I just hope that if you're out there and you're a newer trader, please don't think that your um, you know the, the the cost of education for example is too expensive for you because the wrong mindset to have because all you're going to end up doing is just losing money by yourself and so and you'll lose it a lot quicker so it's amazing um, that, that but it's it, I do understand the mindset but please don't take those big risks because you will like the first guy who lost ten thousand in in the space of a week or two then has had to top his account up again um, and then we've got Keith there as well um, it was uh, uh, um, Oh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, it was here. another the other guy I was thinking of, um, but I couldn't remember his name for a second there. But um, and I've still not remembered it. Um, but anyway, yeah, doing that sort of thing, you're just going to end up costing yourself a lot of money. So please adhere the adhere the risk reward or risk rules. Don't risk more than one, maybe a maximum of two percent per trade. Um, but for most, certainly for new traders, one percent per trade has got to be the max. Um, okay, I shall probably have to leave that with you because I've probably ranted. Oh, crikey, ten and a half minutes. Um, I'm sorry, um, but um, no market commentary today. Um, I think this was much more important. It will save you a lot more money and make you think about um, what you're doing with your trading. Um, I'll leave that with you, and I'll be back on Friday for live trading.